this is Amber from the Happy Caravan. I'm a mom of 11 kids and we live in New York City. I'm gonna show y'all what we eat in a week. Okay, tonight we're having goulash. It's Wednesday night. It's the first night of our food week because we go shopping on Tuesday. So my sweet pearl, she was in Connecticut today and she even got to try out a pellet gun. Did you like hit anything or you just? Yeah, we were shooting in Target and I got it half the time. That's impressive. You were looking very cute. Anyway, so she was trying out the pellet gun in Connecticut. She's back. She came home and she's like, hey, I'll make the goulash. So she just made it all by herself. I am so impressed. It is the easy goulash recipe from iwashyoudry.com. It's actually pretty easy. It's very yummy. It has macaroni and Worcestershire sauce and beef broth, cheese, and it's a hearty, good meal for the kids. Is that good now? Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Thursday night. We are having the sweet and sour chicken. This is a favorite meal I had as a kid that my mom used to make. It's from my mom's recipe book. The sweetest thing ever. If you're having a daughter that's getting married, I have to remember to do this referral. Make her a little recipe book. She'll cherish it for the rest of her life. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we got a lot of use. Yeah, we got a lot of use out of this. And all my childhood food memories are in this book. This has bell peppers and chicken breasts. And what's nice about it is it just, as far as the onions and garlic and this and that, it just has ground ginger, garlic powder, um, and you don't have to like cut up a bunch of extra onions and so forth. So it's kind of like meal in a flash. <laughs> so that is a, a big family and a lot of hungry bellies and meal in a flash is the way to go. So that's how we're going. But it does have the, the health of the bell peppers, which is nice. We have the chicken breasts. These are oh, from breasts. Costco and they're boneless skinless. So we're just putting in the cornstarch and we're gonna add in some soy sauce and vinegar. And Mark actually was super sweet. He put this recipe on our website, which is great because that way if you can just like half it, tri triple it, double it. What's, um, this, re this recipe says it serves four. So we, we triple it basically for our big old family. And Mark put some brown sugar in there too. Gives it some sweetness. So we're keeping up the chicken. So we're going to put the chicken in and we're going to get this all stirred up, get it heated up real quick in the oil. And as soon as this gets a little cooked, we're going to throw in the bell peppers, put the chicken, and then we'll put in the soy sauce mixture and then the pineapple. Mix in the bell peppers here. Give some protection to the chicken so it doesn't cook too quick. Just going to add our soy sauce mixture. And mix that up real quick. That's simmering right now, and we're just going to drop the pineapple in there. And get that mixed in. You like the sweet and sour chicken, Mo? Yeah. <laughs> Good, huh? The dinner is served. These are the fancy cookies Naomi made today. They are turtle cookies. They have little caramel bits in them, chocolate, pecans. Oh, wow. Like dessert. <laughs> Royale. And they are from preppykitchen.com if you're interested in making an exquisite cookie. <laughs> and we make our rice in the Instant Pot. It's just six minutes on high pressure. Mm -hmm. Like Pan Express, but cheaper. <laughs> I 
dinner moment. <laughs> Josiah just came home from school. What are you wearing? That's so uh, snappy. Just a lilac shirt, my Gold Dragoons bow tie, and my pants, my... Vintage pants? Vintage Sorry, pants. I have my boots down here. Okay, so turn around. These are vintage suspenders. From what era? The 30s, I think. And they have like goat skin... Yeah, they have uh, goat skin runners, which means they are about to snap, but you know, that's <laughs> how vintage stuff works. But you look so snappy. You got them from the UK, right? Yeah. That's so around. cool. You're standing up, Nella. You're so big. <laughs> you're a big girl, Nella. You are a big girl. Stop talking about you, my baby. My baby, baby. My baby, is that your mommy? Is that your mommy? Hey guys, welcome to Friday night. Friday night, we are having tacos. This is taco night. I call this a get out of jail free meal because it's very simple. <laughs> Kind of like in Monopoly when you get to just have, have an easy go. You don't know that? never said that. Oh, you never? Have you ever played Monopoly? Well, yeah. you, you played Costco Monopoly. Anyway. I, play, I played Costco Monopoly. <laughs> so, and really you were gone to the hospital? Oh, having baby? Oh, yeah. did you play Monopoly when I was having the baby? Mm -hmm. Aw, cool. Okay, so that's news to me. I didn't know they were playing Monopoly when I was having the baby. <laughs> so here it is the taco meat. We just used the McCormick packets. And this, is, if you were by Trader Joe's, these are so good. They're corn and wheat tortillas. And they're like part corn. So they have that corn taste, corny taste. Oh, I'll get it. And um, they also have some flour in there. And it makes them like soft, like a corn, uh, wheat tortilla, but is it that? Corn taste, so anyway, having some avocados and also made some pinto beans. Did you know I made pinto beans, Marco? Yeah, right behind okay. you. I was in the shower, so <laughs> dinner started without me. So here are the pinto beans. These are super easy to make. You just put them in an instant pot, dry. You don't have to soak them. Uh, we put in two cups because it's just a side dish. If we're having burritos, we usually make four cups. But you just put them in the instant pot, high pressure. 41 minutes and they're perfect like perfect perfect like restaurant perfect so <laughs> like chipotle perfect so i don't know how they make their beans but it may be that way happy eating you know you like your taco is it like the book one of his favorite books is dragons love tacos yeah <laughs> you like that book yeah you and i are taco buddies Taco, taco. 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 Mm -hmm. Good stuff, huh? <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to Saturday. Tonight is a busy day. The kids are at Juilliard. Earlier today, Pearl went to West Village with Anna because she's still on spring break, and they had some thrift store finding fun. They took no pictures, so... You just have to imagine what that looked like. So tonight, usually we have burritos, but we're just doing quesadillas tonight. And Josiah took all the cheese, so he's at the store buying us more cheese. <laughs> and Enoch's having oatmeal. He's getting creative. <laughs> Josiah was a hero, and he got us cheese at Lincoln Market. Let's see what he got us. So this is what he got. He got four extra sharp cheddars, and these were each six twenty nine, guys. That's not true inflation. I don't know what it is. Wait, is that the normal cheese? But at is Costco, our regular Costco cheese is probably, oh, so this is eight ounces. So our Costco hey, cheese is four times the size for like five bucks. So definitely Costco is the way to go. Wow. Also, he got some Land O'Lakes butter, and that's because we are going to be making, well, Naomi wants to make Irish soda bread tomorrow. She's, she's like, she did that. How was Juilliard? Good. Yeah, you had a good time? What are you making? Um, red velvet cookies. Mm, these are good. Let's see where it's from. Sally's Baking Addiction, is that your favorite baking website? I mean, maybe. <laughs> Everything. I, haven't, I don't think I've had anything from there that's not super yummy. How was school today? Or Juilliard, which is music school. How was it? Good. You had a good time? Yep. Do you have a studio class? Um, yeah, but I didn't play. You didn't play? Okay. Cool. Hey, <laughs> What do you got there, Mo? 
Mouse. Mouch. <laughs> Bang. You guys are a mooch. Bang. Hey guys, welcome to Sunday. It is St. Patrick's Day. Okay? We're all wearing as much green as we can find in our closet. So we made corned beef and cabbage. I'm gonna show you Mark's footage. He made it in the crock pot earlier today. I made it in the instant pot later today. And we're gonna, we made it in both because we need, we need more food. We can only fit so much in there. We have a big family. So we made it in two different devices. I'm not sure which one will be the best. We can have a little taste test. I think both will be. You think both will be the best? We're really enjoying the little uh, free samples of corned beef over here. So they seem to enjoy it. And we have Irish soda, but this is from Trader Joe's. Okay, but Naomi also made us a homemade Irish soda bread, which I'm sure will be even better. So we're having Irish theme. So this is the story of corned beef and cabbage. Originally, I guess, um, the Irish had bacon and potatoes and cabbage for, you know, their what they ate in Ireland. That's Buzz. Okay, thank you very much. But then when they came to, sorry, then when they came to New York City, there wasn't a lot of bacon around because they usually often settled in Jewish neighborhoods. But there's pastrami, which was basically corned beef. And so they're like, oh, we'll do that. And so they made corned beef and cabbage instead. But what's funny is way back, like I guess before like 1700s or whatever, the Irish actually had their own version of corned beef that they had with potatoes and cabbage. So it's come full circle. <laughs> what ha and then, but then I guess the British, um, you had the beef and they're like, oh, you guys can have the pigs or something. <laughs> so, so that's when it turned to bacon, but then it switched back to beef when they got to New York City. So, hmm. well, you know what? If it tastes good, it's good. Well, I think this version is better. You think this version is better? Okay. Yep. I'm trying some from the Instant Pot and it's pretty good. So I'm going to try some from the Crock Pot. Can I try this is from some? The crock pot. It's amazing. Stop. Is really good? They're both good. Different ways. The crock pot one is a little less, um, I don't know. Hard to explain. There's a little different consistency, I guess. But they're both very good. Okay, let's have an Irish blessing. I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> May the Lord bless you and keep you. So we tried both versions, and the Instant Pot version is a winner. I also want to try Soap Top too, but once a year, so you gotta you gotta do what you can. So we're also trying the soda bread. Super yummy. <laughs> trying one of Naomi's amazing red velvet cookies. Oh wow, those are so good. Thank you, Naomi, our resident baker. <laughs> trying Naomi's soda bread. Mm, yeah. Way better than the Trader Joe's. So. <laughs> of course, homemade bread is always better. So what is this? I have no idea, just I made it. It's a St. Patrick's Day drink? Yeah. With alcohol, Slightly of course. Slightly boozy. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, it's has, good. Has ice cream in it and then mint liqueur or something, mm -hmm. or syrup or Minted something? Mint and chocolate liqueur and um, ice. Fancy. I tried it. I tried it. It's mostly ice cream. They're having ice cream down the stairs, Anna. 
Vanilla. Did you have your little creation down there, Jose? I yes. Kids are having ice cream, so. <laughs> You want? It's not pregnant, so I'm trying it. Wait, the kids are eating it? It reminds me of um, a toothpaste. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> very strong, obviously. Like scope. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Monday night. We are having hamburger stroganoff. It's kind of a cheaper version of beef stroganoff, but it's still super yummy. Okay, technically it's called ground beef stroganoff and it's from natashaskitchen.com. I love this recipe. Everything I've tried from Natasha's Kitchen has been really good. So this is also a winner. Yeah, it's true. We're gonna serve it with this piso. It's kind of a half-baked baguette. And when we bake it, it just gets really nice and crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. It's from Trader Joe's. It has a lot of mushrooms in it and some ground beef and onions. It also has beef broth, whipping cream, sour cream, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Salt and pepper and garlic and flour and beef too. We have the beef in there, trying to brown it a little bit. We've got the beef all ground in there. Let's put in some onions. Here's our egg noodles, Pennsylvania Dutch, hearty home style. You love that meal? That's good enough. We're putting in the mushrooms. This is the yummy part. <laughs> well, it's all yummy, I guess. So our friend, Kiseko, that used to live downstairs, it sent us a package, so we're gonna open it. Uh, what is it? That's so exciting. What is it? Oh. Oh, Kit, it looks so cute. What, are, what do you do with these? Aww, it says Mark, Amber, and all. Aww, those are so fun. I think these are actually good. Oh, what are these? What are these? That's right. so cool. Oh, it's. Oh, oh, oh those are whoa. so cute. It's a frog. Yeah, so I think this cute. is a frog. Oh, a, a chocolate this is this Let's see what cute. this one is. Oh, this one is. is let me see what A little pig. Oh, those are so cute. Well, eventually we'll have to eat it, right? <laughs> and this is lollipops. And more chocolate. Oh, those are so cool. And she sent us books. Oh, those are beautiful. Can I see those? Can I see those? They're smaller versions. Oh, wow. She sent it as an Easter present. Really? Oh, oh wow. Mommy, look, it's a Starbucks gift card. Oh, that's card. so fun. Yeah. That's Thank you, buddy. It's a buddy. <laughs> yeah, and I so cute. Let's see here. Oh, fun. That looks like a fun book, too. Wait. Aww, thank you. This is the pig. Oh, that is such a cute little chocolate pig. Oh, my goodness. We have a lollipop and a little, what is that? Um, a lion? That's so fun. Kids are giving up the lollipops over there. <laughs> so Mark's mixed in the flour and salt into the onions and beef, and then now he's putting in the beef broth. So, and also the Worcestershire sauce. Yes. Worcestershire or whatever. <laughs> that funny, that funny name sauce that makes things taste good. That's what they should call it. <laughs> Put in here. Now we're putting in the heavy whipping cream. Makes it creamy. The girl wanted the chocolate frog. Isn't it cute? Let's see. What does it look like? Oh, the chocolate frog. It's cute. Fun. <laughs> A little like from Japan. Cute. Can I see what the package looks like? Oh, oh, they're Kit Kat. But are they actually? But they're like Japanese Kit Kats. Yeah. How cute is that? Here's some smaller ones. What do you have, Mo? That is a little bear. That is cute, Mo. Yeah. So I'm gonna open two other packages. So if you sent anything that was kind of arrived at the after Christmas or early January, 
Our post office was really weird. We kept going there and they were like, oh, we're sorting it, we're sorting it. Basically, they were like, every time we went, they were like, we're sorting it. And then they like sent everything back. So <laughs> anyway, if you said anything around that time, I apologize. Our post office is very interesting. Like they have like bulletproof glass. One, one time when I was there, there was a lady that was like standing out there screaming at one of the postal workers saying she was going to like beat them up when they got off their shifts. So <laughs> it's a very, it's a very colorful place over there. So I try to be understanding when they do things that they probably shouldn't as poster workers. But anyway, thankfully now things have calmed down. It seems like we're actually getting our packages again. So I just want to apologize if you sent anything during that time. But I'm going to open a couple of packages we got from our post office box. So we're going to open it. This is from, who is from? I don't know. Tina Blank. I think this is one of the people. Return to sender. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's Harlem Post Office. In New York, New York it, itself is just kind of falling apart, unfortunately. Oh, I don't know what this is, but it looks interesting. Well, let's look. Let's, let's what does it, it say? Let's Wait, see what it is. No, 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 no. Some cooking. Maybe it's a cooking thing? No. Meat chopper. Meat chopper. Oh, that's Ooh, great. Ooh, Mark's oh, excited. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's see. What's this? This is... Ooh, <gasps> measuring spoons. Yeah. Oh, Adjustable nice. measuring spoons, how cool is that? Yeah, we definitely need those. Uh, Josiah has been taking our measuring spoons down in the basement, so we're very appreciative of that. This is from, thank you, by the way, Jenny Harton from Eat Your Books. Like it, let me <laughs> try and open it. Okay, let's see here. Aw, so it says the sourdough jars are, um, and, and bread bowl with instructions to, um, took out of box to ship, small jams, etc. for Mo as he likes Aww. those mini honeys. Oh, thank you. Oh, nice. Yay, so we can use this for sourdough. Wait, where's Naomi? I don't, I think she's up there. She'll be very excited. Be okay, excited. so I have a sad story about our sourdough. I will tell it to you once I hope to finish opening this. That is so cool. It's for making it's sourdough, for Mark. <gasps> look, look, Mo. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> honey. Yeah. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. You're gonna need a new shirt, buddy. Okay, so it's another jar. <gasps> look, a little Nutella. That is so cute. It's like you guys can use these for your do for your dolls. And this is a tiny, tiny little apricot preserve. Those are so cute. Freezer. Freezer. Oh, fig! Wow, Freezer. that's fancy. Okay, let's Whoa, see here. a lot of jam. Oh, those oh, are so oh, cute. Oh, yeah. well, mama, these are the bestest. Oh, it's also cute. Oh, they're darling. Oh, grape jelly. Oh, strawberry, grape jelly. Okay. Well, 101 things to do with a bunt pan. That's cool. Oh, she wrote this. What? How cool is that? That's really oh, cool. That's so fun. Monkey breads. <gasps> Jelly donut. Oh, those look so fun. Oh, man. We'll have to try these out. Yeah, we'll definitely have to try them out. Those look so amazing. Greek style shepherd's pie. Wow. Oh, yum. Stroganoff style Wait, shepherd's cool. pie. Wait. That's so cool. Okay, and then there's um. There's this, let's see here, whole grain sourdough at home. Wait, is this part? Everyday sourdough and the sourdough whisperer. <laughs> let's see, we need that. We have, we Man, have, we have a lot. We have failed at sourdough. And I'm gonna show you, somebody else got us some books. I'm gonna show you a couple other sourdough books we got. These are gonna be like my, uh, I don't know, when I'm sitting nursing the baby, I'm gonna try and figure out the mysteries of sourdough. See if I can find them. Somebody sent us, and it's oh, yes, the Soul of the Street Bakery Cookbook. We must have failed pretty and bad. And Wild Bread. Okay, so I think actually Naomi's reading in the beginning of these. So what happened to our sourdough starter was that it molded, and I don't understand what happened. I I hear that that can happen. Did we not? We had a. Did we not have a good what, container? You know what? said in one of these books good... was that um, if you don't use sterilized water or something, it oh. can make it. 
Uh, oh, because did we use tap water? Yeah, it could potentially have bacteria or something in mm. it, and so, Wait, I don't know. Mm. So, we did something wrong, but we are not giving up. I don't, it's not like I don't like the bread that we buy, but the bread that we buy is definitely not as, I know it's no, definitely it's fun. not as healthy Sourdough as. Sourdough is fun to make. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a goal. It's a life goal. So thank you for, thank you for the containers because Elijah was very sad when we were using the. Oh, no, I just use that. I make waffles with that. <laughs> he makes waffles. And so he was very sad so that we I was were like, using hey, his, uh, yeah. his pouring container. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. So Mark finished cooking the noodles um, and put them in with the mixture. We're mixing the in the sour cream, cream, cream at the, at the very, very end because otherwise it'll curdle or something wonky, huh? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why they say to mix it in at the end. That looks so yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, well, are you playing with your honey and your jam? Yeah. They're so cute. I'm just We're sharing. I know. <laughs> we can He's wearing this. some of the chocolate. That's the joy of white shirts. You can just bleach them. I have a pack. I got a pack of them. <laughs> so when one gets dirty, we have another one waiting, huh? Yeah. Dinner is served. It's looking good. Hey, Mo, here's your food. You, you want to come eat it, or you want me to bring it over there? Want to eat it over there? Yeah. Yes, you one of the big kids. What are you watching, Elijah? Baseball game, football, something, something. Padre. Padre. Just preseason. <laughs> He's a baseball guy. Is it too hot? You got your little. So he has a honey, a little honey, and a little honey bear. Are those your friends, Mo? Yeah. Well, you said you had a couple of things. Like we love the fire. We just took it right off of the table. Mm -hmm. Then it's running around. Then it's running around. Then it's running around. Then it's running Yeah, it just gets funny because the bears eat the honey from the bees. But this bear, because he, why the bears fill up with honey? Because he ate so much honey that his head and his tummy and his arms are filled up. Yeah. He had to go study from the beast. Good stuff. No, no. Mo wanted to show his good stuff. You want to show me your good stuff? Yeah. Here's our fusel. Looking good and brown. Okay, the bread's all ready. We're going to have some bread. What? Um, is that a good size piece for you? Uh, I think that's good enough. Do you like it? It's good. Yeah. April found this really cute shirt. She thrifted at uh, in, in where were you? Um, Crossroad or something. Was it in New York or in? Yeah. Cool. Cute. <gasps> Hi guys, welcome to Tuesday night. Usually this is shopping night, but we had a bit of a, an emergency that happened. So Chloe has been struggling with a bit of a limp because I think she had a viral infection that somehow went to her hip, which is weird. Um, and I had an appointment that was set up to see the doctor for that. But then today we had like this like moment because Mark gave her some Advil and it's uh, ibuprofen, it helps with inflammation. And she was able to kind of like walk normally ish. <laughs> so we're like, wow, you know, maybe that's it. Um, and you know, that'll help get us to that doctor appointment in early April. It's hard to get a doctor appointment around here because if you've heard the news, the medical system around here is very impacted. There's a lot of people seeking medical help and not a lot of doctors hanging around to help them. But, um, then today she was walking over by where we have the recycling and sometimes the kids do projects and so forth. And she slipped on a, like a bit of cardboard and then she, her hip really hurt. Like we're going to the emergency room, it hit it really hurt. And so uh, Mark's at the emergency room right now, and it turned out that she has a little fracture in the g ball joint of the plate of the hip bone. And that's something that I guess that's surprisingly common amongst um, girls from in her age range. And they weren't like surprised or alarmed by it, even though we're like, oh, freaking out. <laughs> So they're very calm over there, like, oh yeah, this happens. So they're actually, she's in surgery now, and they're putting a screw 
into the joint somehow to help keep things in place. And supposedly that's supposed to help her heal. I don't know if it's gonna help with the underlying inflammation that she was already dealing with from that a viral infection, but maybe they'll give her some antibiotics while they're at it. So I'm just hoping that things work out. Sometimes when things turn out really, like things seem really bad, then sometimes it turns for good. And so I'm just praying that <laughs> this day that started out really bad with, with Chloe just falling and all this stuff, I'm just, I'm praying that she's able to get the help she needs because we were like basically waiting until early April to get her scene about for her hip just because that was the earliest appointment we could get. But because this was an emergency, she was seen sooner. She's at Mount Sinai right now, and I think she's actually currently in surgery, so we're having like a little family prayer meeting about it, and um, I'll let you know how it goes. But also what that means is the rest of the family still has to eat, <laughs> so, so mom is trying to be mama. And what I'll probably do, since tonight is shopping night, we usually go out shopping, what I'm going to do is probably just go to the local market, get the things we need just for dinner tonight. I'll probably do something simple like hot dogs or something, because that's what we get from Costco. And then I'll get the stuff to make dinner tomorrow night too, and then also lunch tomorrow. And milk, we are always needing milk. <laughs> we need a cow in the backyard. Anyway, so we're just praying Chloe's okay. They did not seem super alarmed by it at the doctor. And I don't know if they do that just to like help parents like us not freak out or if there's really, it's like it's okay. So what's supposed to happen with that screw is supposed to stay in for a number of weeks for her to heal from the fracture. And then she should get the screw out because it's a growth plate and the whole idea is like, you know, it needs to grow. So, and I'm hoping they can take care of the underlying inflammation as well that she seemed to have had since that viral infection and she can just be healthy girl. She's, she is not one to be slowed down. She always wants to go everywhere. She wants to go to the park. She wants to get kids to go to CVS. She wants to go to CVS. If they're going anywhere they're going, she wants to go. So she's not the type that wants to stay home and just look at a computer screen or whatever she likes to be out and about so I'm just praying she can get healed and be taken care of and that she can just be happy skipping joyful Chloe again so we are going on a mini grocery haul I have Josiah and Melody Moses and Anna so we're gonna go get the things we need for tonight and for tomorrow and Chloe, I think, is currently in surgery, so we're also praying at the same time. Here is our Lincoln Market. Shopping. Emergency shopping. So we're getting some Super Spinach Powerhouse Blend. Okay, so we are getting Wait, there's this. three packs. Oh, okay, good. We're trying to get one and a half pounds of mushrooms for our new chicken that we're making tomorrow night. We're getting a three packs of these for our mirror and chicken. This is one of my mom's recipes. And I remember loving it when I was a kid, so kids are having that. Put it on the beach. Okay, having a moment over there. We are getting unbleached white all purpose yeah. flour. Guys, this is $10.99, which is crazy, but okay. <laughs> I'm getting some organic old fashioned rolled oats because. I've heard that there are not good things in like their oats nowadays, so getting crazier. Getting a smaller bag. I want to make lactation cookies. What? Okay, smart food, glazed donut, popcorn. I like Josiah was saying what could possibly be smart. Doesn't look too smart to me. <laughs> about glazed donut popcorn. It does look tasty though. Wait, Wait all out recycling of trash bags. bags and? I think no, just regular trash bags because we usually get these at. Costco, no, well, we're gonna go we to Costco these. tomorrow. Yeah, we need these for trip tomorrow at least. Getting some basil because we are having pesto tomorrow for lunch. Four of them actually. Hey guys, I'm looking for some cheap butter. This butter is expensive, so this butter's on sale though. $4.99. That looks like our style right there. We'll get the sale butter. Cabot. Cabot's creamery? Cabot? I don't know. Looks good. Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna need some milk for the meal. So March 30th. We go through a milk about a gallon and a half a day, so 
Need that. Okay, need some water. We are on the hunt for hot dogs. Let's see what Looks like they would all have Seems like a hot dog, a good place for hot dogs, but I'm not seeing hot dogs. Yay, hot dogs. Oh, we can have hot and spicy. I see Watson. We need to find some budget hot dogs. I said hot dogs. Seeing if there's any hot dogs on sale this year. Two? So we're going a we little bit two. fancy. We're, let's get let's get three of them because people don't want a lot of hot dogs. So we're getting Nathan's we hot dogs. They're not the box. cheapest, but they're not they're the most expensive. Box. They're middle of the line. These are the ones Anna wants to try. I always see Nathan's hot dog carts around here. So just I find the treat? all the salsa looks gross, but I love these still. Jalapenos. Yes, indeed. Okay, so you want to get treat? those? No, that's not the treat. That's just a condom. <laughs> okay, did you check the price? Okay, good. He's a good shopper. I've taught him well. Check the price. You never know. <laughs> you can get to the. You can get. To, yeah, you can get to the front counter. He actually got us uh, half a pound of cheese for six ninety nine last time we went to the store. What are we looking at? Oh yeah, baby food. Yeah, not quite. No, that's not quite the baby food either. We are looking for sweet cooking rice wine for uh, this chicken dish we're making. Hopefully we can find it. Um. I think we found our thing. So it's mirin sweet and sake. And this is what goes into the chicken mirin dish. Chicken. Mirin chicken. Maybe that's why it's called mirin chicken. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Now I'm on the hunt for hot dog buns. Let's see. I have my scouts around me. So Anna wants these. They're a little bit expensive. They're $3.99. Those are $3.99. These are $5.29. But these are King's Hawaiian sweet hot dog buns. So she thought those look good. So we're having expensive junk food tonight, guys. Josiah and the kids are looking for the treat. I told them they could get. And I'm looking for mayonnaise and um, something else. I forget what else. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wait on the mayonnaise because I remember that Costco has way better price on avocado meal so hopefully i can actually find it um and by the way i'm gonna eat, i'm gonna eat green beans here tonight because that's what we're having tomorrow for dinner we're getting some white rice this is for our meal it's kind of cute look four sisters and a rice farm in louisiana that looks like a good place to get rice from <laughs> the brand that carry here is always changing but i'm just looking for chunk pineapple in juice, I use that for uh, kebabs. We're gonna have flank steak kebabs on Sunday, Lord willing, because you never know what a week can bring forth. We learned that today, but that's the plan. Getting some green beans, we're just gonna have this with our marin chicken. Wow, cut green beans, but it sounds so much cooler in Spanish. Habichuelas piernas cortadas. <laughs> That's a fun way to say it, right there. This is what I love about this store. We live in a really ethnic area, so there's just like random like ethnic foods. Banana leaves. Like what can you do with banana leaves? I don't know, but I bet it's cool. Okay, what'd you guys pick out? This um sandwich You know what? Can you guys pick out a little get well present for Chloe? Sure. Candy or not? You can be a candy, this one. Not like a small thing of candy. Okay, we're getting we're getting this for Chloe, Sour Patch Kids Tropical. So this is for the kids at home. This is Sour Streamers. You can have five of those. And then Sour Streamers for the kids with me, and Sour Streamers for the kids at home. Okay. Getting the stuff on the conveyor. All done. <laughs> so we have our bags and our candy. We will travel. <laughs> Okay, so we made it. It is 124 or one, yeah, 124 21. That was expensive, and that's just gonna give us about a day and a half's worth of food. But we got a big family to feed, y'all. Chloe, oh, those are for Chloe. Don't eat those. These are? Yes, yeah. they are. Those are for a get well present. These are what we had for you. Here, we've got the hot dogs, and all you have to do to make hot dogs in an instant pot very quickly and very perfectly is just put a little bit of water in the bottom, put them in a little basket. Then you turn it on high pressure for one minute, and they're good. It was one so for the one pasta, minute. Though. 
Okay, so the hot dogs are ready, and it was zero minutes, so we had a little bit of powwow. We looked it up online, and it's zero minutes. So, how they turn out, guys? What? Did they turn out well? Yeah. You guys, trying out some? Are they trying out some of your jalapenos that you got? They are, in fact. It was a good. It was a good call there. So, how's your jalapeno dog going? Good. <laughs> Do you like the Hawaiian buns? Yeah. It's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tessa. <laughs> Love you, girl. So we're just waiting for Chloe. She um, went through the surgery. The surgeon said everything looked good. They put the screw in, and it should help her um, joint stay better in place. I guess it's kind of a common thing that they see. Uh, so hopefully she'll come home. She's kind of, they of course put her under because that's not the sort of thing you want to be awake for. Um, so she should just be kind of recovering from it and come home and just praying that with some rest and stillness that she can get better. Eating my Nathan's bun length hot dog. Barely, <laughs> barely bun length. Yeah. Mm. Pretty good. Now that I'm older, I'm not so in love with hot dogs, but I remember when I was a kid, I was home for summer vacation. I asked my mom to make me hot dogs for breakfast. And I ate three hot dogs for breakfast when I was like eight. <laughs> so <laughs> you gotta grow out of it, but nothing beats a good hot dog. When she wakes up, we'll, we'll see her time. I'm right here by her, by her bedside. And, um, well, won't uh, won't be able to talk to her for a little while. Anyway, hey, sweetie, you, you woke up with a smile. That was a good sign. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. So Chloe is out. She um, within 24 hours went through surgery and and uh, is doing really well. We've got a a picture of what they actually put in her leg, which was quite impressive, but here she is standing. So, amazingly enough, Chloe's a strong girl, and she's doing really well. Really proud of her. And uh, hopefully this takes care of the issue that, uh, that she has, and, and uh, hopefully that's the, the last we, we hear of these sorts of things. Right, Chloe? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 